You know, in 76, Jimmy Carter famously said, I will not lie to you. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to tell you, I have tried in every way I know how, literally from my years as a young lawyer all the way through my time as Secretary of State, to level with the American people. You talk about leveling with the American people. Have you always told the truth? I've always tried to. Always. Always. Some people are going to call that wiggle room that you just gave yourself. Well, no, always, I always, always tried to. No, I've I mean, always Jimmy tried Carter to. said, I will never lie to you. You know, you're asking me to say, have I ever? I don't believe I ever have. I, I don't believe I ever have. I don't believe I ever will. I'm going to do the best I can to level with the American people. I did not email any um, classified material to anyone on my email. The facts are pretty clear. I did not send nor receive anything that was classified at the time. It doesn't change the fact that I never sent or received any material marked classified. A personal account or a government account. I did not send classified material and I did not receive any material that was marked or designated classified, which I never sent or received any material marked classified. I will repeat, I did not send or receive classified. Update on the FBI's investigation of Secretary Clinton's use of a personal email system during her time as Secretary of State. I opted for convenience to use my personal email account, which was allowed. They were extremely careless in their handling of very sensitive, highly classified information. I thought it would be easier to carry just one device. She also used numerous mobile devices to send and to read email. We went through a thorough process to identify all of my work-related emails. The lawyers doing the sorting for Secretary Clinton in 2014 did not individually read the content of all of her emails. And deliver them to the State Department. It's highly likely that their search missed some work-related emails. So that the emails were immediately captured and preserved. There was no archiving at all of her emails. That was uh, my obligation. I fully fulfilled it. They deleted all emails they did not produce to state, and the lawyers then cleaned their devices in such a way as to preclude complete forensic recovery. Good morning, Director Comey. Uh, Secretary Clinton said she never sent or received any classified information over her private email. Was that true? Our investigation found that there was classified information sent. So it was not true? It, right. That's what I said. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm looking for a little shorter answer, so you and I are not here quite as long. Secretary Clinton said there was nothing marked classified on her emails, either sent or received. Was that true? That's not true. There were a small number of portion markings on, I think, three of the documents. Secretary three Clinton three said, three I did not email. email any classified material to anyone on my email. There is no classified material. Was that true? No, there was classified material emailed. Secretary Clinton said she used just one device. Was that true? She used multiple devices during the four years uh, of her term as Secretary of State. Secretary Clinton said all work-related emails were returned to the State Department. Was that true? No, we found work-related emails, thousands, that were not returned. Secretary Clinton said neither she nor anyone else deleted work-related emails from her personal account. Was that true? That's a harder one to answer. Uh, we found traces of work-related emails. Uh, in, on devices or in Slack space, whether they were deleted or whether when a server was changed out, something happened to them. There's no doubt that there were work-related emails that were removed electronically from the, the email system. Secretary Clinton said her lawyers read every one of the emails and were overly inclusive. Did her lawyers read the email content individually? No. Recovery. There were no security breaches. It is possible that hostile actors gained access. There is no classified materials. 110 emails contained classified information at the time they were sent or received. I'm certainly well aware uh, of the uh, classification uh, requirements and uh, did not uh, send classified material. There was nothing marked classified on my emails, either sent or received, and I want to respond. Use the right term there, use mark. Yeah, that's what, that's well, what you revised, use the revised statement there. Well. Congressman, there was a lot of confusion because many, um, many Americans have no idea how the classification process works, and therefore I wanted to make it clear that there is a system 
within our government, certainly within the State Department, where materials that is thought to be classified uh, is marked such so that okay. people have the opportunity to know okay. how they are supposed to be got, handling those materials. And that's why it became clearer, I believe, to say that nothing was marked classified at the time I sent or received it. All right. All I, all I know is that's different what you said, Mark. Information that clearly anybody who had knowledge of, of security information would know that it would be classified. Um, but I'm having a little bit trouble to see how would you not then know that that was something that was inappropriate to do? Well, it, you're, uh, I just want to take one of your assumptions about sophistication. I don't think that our investigation established that she was actually particularly sophisticated with respect to classified information and the levels and the treatment. And so far as we can Isn't tell, she, she an original classification authority, though. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even if information is not marked classified in an email, participants who know or should know that the subject matter is classified are still obligated to protect it. At the time, this didn't seem like an issue. None of these emails should have been on any kind of unclassified system. Certainly, I can provide you what uh, and I think we I believe we have provided uh, Congress with everything that we had. Uh, we can certainly uh, it's over in Senate security. We provided it to SSCI, I believe, and Hibson. Can you also. provide this committee in a secure format? Um, the classified emails? What I, I can to a certain extent. I cannot provide a certain uh, segment of them because the agency uh, that owns the information for those emails has limited the distribution on those. So they've, they're, they're uh, characterizing them as ORCON. What, so we explain what ORCON is. Originator control. Uh, so I can't, uh, I can't give them to even Congress without getting the agency's permission to provide them. So they have been provided. Which agency? I can't say that here in an open hearing, sir. So you can't even tell me which agency won't allow us as members of Congress to see something that Hillary Clinton allowed somebody without a security clearance in a non-protective format to see. That's correct? Yeah, this is the segment of emails. That this is why my, my letter back to uh, uh, Ranking Member Cummings had to be classified, because people would like to see this segment of emails and this has been an issue not just with, with you and your committee, but with uh, several members at this point. And so uh, we have gone back to the agency that uh, is involved several times, and I, I can, we, we can certainly do that again and ask permission. Can you generally tell me, uh, is it because they're so sensitive about signals intelligence, humans intelligence, what? We shouldn't get into the, the content of these emails in an open hearing, but I, I'd okay. be happy to tell I, you. I, I don't want to violate that, but the concern is that it has already been violated and was violated by Hillary Clinton, and it was her choice. She set it up, and, and she created this problem, and she created this mess. We shouldn't have to go through this, but she did that. This is the, this is the segment of emails that uh, I had to have people in my office read in to particular programs to even see these emails. We didn't, we didn't possess the required clearances and compartments. So even the Inspector General for ODNI didn't have the requisite That's security correct. clearances. That's correct. I wow. had to get wow. read-ins wow. for them. Unbelievable. What a mess. They've, they've Did Hillary Clinton give non-cleared people access to classified information? Yes. yes. Did Hillary Clinton lie? To the FBI? We have no basis to conclude she lied to the FBI. Did she lie to the public? That's a question I'm not qualified to answer. I can speak about what she said to the FBI. Did she, did Hillary Clinton lie under oath? To the, not to the FBI, not in a case we're working. Did you review the documents where Congressman Jim Jordan asked her specifically? And she said, quote, there was nothing marked classified on my emails, either sent or received, end quote. I don't remember reviewing that particular testimony. I'm aware of that being said, though. Did the FBI investigate her statements under oath on this topic? Not to my knowledge. I don't think there's been a referral from Congress. Do you need a referral from Congress to investigate her, her statements under oath? Sure do. You'll have one. <laughs> You'll have one in the next few hours.